Hi guys, Alan Gilday here from Create Your Abundance. What a beautiful morning. Uh, we're down here in Bangor. It's a beautiful summer's morning in July. And I just wanted to come out and actually uh, share this lovely time with you together. But I'm gonna kick off with an interesting thought. Uh, somebody was saying to me recently about plants and about flowers in particular. Is this pornography? These beautiful things are the genitals of plants, believe it or not. And it's a funny thing to consider, but when you look at nature, everywhere around us, nature is exhibiting in its abundance and its uh, sexiness and its vitality. And here's a fan. So, uh, well that's, so the guys are out just doing their stuff, keeping the town nice and tidy. And isn't that a weird thing when we think how joyous and beautiful and free and gorgeous and scented and sexy nature can be. It can also be red and tooth and claw and absolutely terrifying and dreadful. But just this notion that somebody said to me about are you aware that of course flowers are the, are the genitals of plants really made me think about the notions around our own sexuality that we have to do with shame and guilt and fear and so on. And I had a little thought about this and basically what I my figuring on it was nobody has to teach us to seek pleasure you know, uh, nobody has to teach us how to seek sexual pleasure. It's innate, whereas violence, the most natural thing in the world when you're about to see something horrible, is to actually cover, cover your eyes or to flinch and turn away. So it's innate for, and natural for children, for all of us, just to seek pleasure. We don't need to be taught that. And I'm not talking about anything grotesque or untoward here. I'm just talking about n nature's normal flow of dynamic energy in us and um, and yet equally uh, the natural reaction to violence as I say is just to turn away to flinch to not see it to protect ourselves from things that are horribly impactful on the on the nervous system and so why would that be why are we taught to kind of uh, to move away from the kind of florid abundance and, and joyful celebration of, of our sexuality and more into shame and fear and I think it's to do with, well there's two things, obviously we need to be socialised, we can't be running around, you know, um, indulging every sexual pleasure willy-nilly, that's probably not the right phrase to use. Um, for obvious reasons we've got, to, we've got to live together socially and responsibly and appropriately. So it's very important that we're taught appropriate ways to behave in public. But I think there's also a vested interest because if somebody can convince you that you're guilty, you're shameful, that your innate being is in need of redemption, who benefits from that? A priesthood. And a priesthood benefits by being empowered through money to litigate on your behalf towards a God who created you perfect in one hand but is going to decimate you in the other for feeling the urges and uh, pleasures that he or she created you with in the first place. So that to me sounds like a call. Okay, why can't we just be a bit more like the plants, celebrate, celebrate that beautiful joy of being alive, that beautiful side of life, but to do it responsibly, to do it consciously, to do it ethically, to do it with self-respect and respect for others. Thanks for hanging out with me and, um, you know, uh, it, please, please comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and uh, thumb up, share, subscribe. And if you're interested in sharing your thoughts in the world, your passion, your humor, uh, your uh, expertise in particular through blogging, then click on the link below. Thanks very much, guys. Be happy, be well.